guys, so as you can tell I have no makeup on my face and it's because I'm gonna do kind of like a first impressions review on a bunch of stuff and it is this. <laughs> I got this in the mail not too long ago. It is Pixie by Petra. It's like this giant box, literally huge. So Pixie collaborated with four different YouTubers. Um, it's Judy Time, Aspen Ovard, and I actually don't know the two other girls. I don't watch them. Caroline and Mer Miriam. Um, but yes, we're going to be doing a review on all these products. And we have eyeshadows and lipsticks and highlights and contours, brushes. We have a cleanser, which I'm not going to actually be trying the cleanser. But I will try this out and let you guys know if I end up liking it. Um, we have a strobe and sculpt palette. This one is also strobe and bronze here. So we have two really pretty palettes. And we also have this brush that she created, which is awesome. And then by Aspen, we have some highlighters, which are really pretty. Um, the other Pixie highlighter that I do own is a very, very light natural highlighter. It's definitely not like a really strong highlight. So it's going to be really interesting to see if these are a little bit more of like a strobing, really strong highlight. I'm going to be trying those out for you guys. We have a lower lash mascara and a brow tamer. So we're going to try that out. And then the two palettes I'm the most excited for are It's Judy Times, which is what I wanted to begin with when I found out that this was coming out. This is a lip palette and it just is some really pretty like natural lip colors. Super pretty colors, totally colors that I'm into right now. So that's gonna be really fun to try. And then of course her eyeshadow palette here, which I've been really wanting to try as well. And I've actually had this for about a month and I haven't opened it yet because I really wanted to do like a first impressions. So this is gonna be really, really fun to try because I've been wanting to try this forever. So I'm gonna do my face makeup first. I'm gonna use my Fiona Styles. Um, foundation which I love, my Amazing Cosmetics powder, and then also my Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. That's what I'm going to use on my face and I will be right back. I have no idea what kind of look I'm doing right now. I literally don't know. These are really nice wearable colors. Totally colors that I would wear on a regular basis. Love them. She has the perfect amount of matte colors and shimmer colors. Let's do a warm crease. I'm going to go in with this color right there. My lips really aren't that dry right now, you guys. I have really creasy lips, so it makes my lips look really dry, but they're not actually dry. They just have a lot of like creases and folds in them. So if I get foundation on my lips, it makes them look really dry, but they're not dry. I promise. Okay. So I'm going to apply this into the crease and just blend it. So I have another pixie palette that I use on occasion, but the colors are a little on like the chalky side. Um, they're kind of powdery and kind of chalky and so I don't ever really talk about it in videos because I do feel like that's kind of a downside So I'm gonna see if this palette is better. It's very pigmented. I'm getting good color payoff I feel like blends out really nicely So I really like to use like these blender orange colors and just kind of really messily blend them into like my crease area I don't do it with too much like Precision because I feel like it's kind of like the blender shade. It's the shade that like ties everything together if you know what I mean. So I don't ever feel like I have to be too perfect with this step. Pretty. Let's actually zoom you guys in. So I think I'm gonna go dark on the lid, just for fun. I'm gonna use this shimmery maroon color right here. I actually feel like these ones are a little better as far as like not being quite so powdery. They definitely lay on your eye very smooth. You don't get that patchy look. If you guys watched in that one video I did, my last makeup tutorial, the black that I used was really patchy. It was the first time I'd ever actually used that black all over the lid and I was really disappointed with like the patchiness of it. Um, but these are really nice. They apply really evenly, which I'm really happy about because I hate patchy eyeshadows, especially when you use them on the lid. And this is not patchy at all, so I really am happy about that. And I love the color. It's really true to color. Let's go in with this dark brown. It's like a matte brown. So this is kind of like a cool toned brown. We're going to go right here. Darken up that outer color. You could use black, the black in this palette. These are really nice. I'm happy with these. This is definitely a palette that I could see myself using a lot, honestly. And Judy always picks good colors, I feel like, for her palettes. And blend, take a little bit more of that orange color. Blend it. And I love this brush here. This is a Sigma E40, my favorite blending brush right here. I love this brush. The thing about this palette though that I am noticing is it doesn't have like a matte white or a white or cream color that's matte. So you have to go shimmer. And I think because Judy has like a darker skin tone than me, 
Um, I don't know if this is going to work very well, but this is the lightest color that they have right there. And I just noticed that I have a giant band-aid on my finger. That's really, really attractive. I'm going to take that off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> I'm gonna get so much hate on that. Oh my god, I can't even. It is this color right here. As you can tell, it's a little on the dark side. It's almost might be too dark for my skin tone, but we're gonna try it. Um, so if you have super pale skin, that may be a little bit of a problem. It's a really pretty gold. It has gold undertones, but it is a little dark for me, I gotta say. Um, I might have to mix in something from like a different palette. Um, I feel like this is packaging would be kind of like that packaging that would crack and break. Like, you know how they crack like right here at the hinge? I feel like this is a palette that would probably end up doing that. So not the best quality packaging, but the eyeshadows are good. So that's good. I'm just going back in with that matte dark brown. Going right under my eye. And then I'm going to go in with this gold right there. This really pretty gold. That's beautiful. That's a really pretty color. I'm going to go in with that and go right in the inner part of my lower lash line. And I'm gonna go in with that same highlighter shade. I'm gonna go in my inner corner. I really like these eyeshadows, I'm not gonna lie. Like, these are really nice. Seriously, eyeshadow looks never look good until you do your eyebrows. It's just like, I can't stand it. Okay, so weird, like when I do these first impressions videos where I talk and do makeup, I prefer to do like voiceover ones because I like to listen to music when I'm filming videos like makeup tutorials or sometimes like I'll turn on like inspirational like talking videos on YouTube and I'll listen to those while I'm fi like filming so much better now I just need to do my eyeliner the Argan Wear eyeliner and then also my physician's formula eyeliner because they didn't come with eyeliners so that's what I'm gonna use on my eyes I'm gonna do a winged eyeliner Okay guys, so there's my eyeliner. I went a little bit thicker today because I really wanted like bold eyeliner. So that is what I did for that. Now I'm gonna use lower lash mascara. I think I've tried this before and I didn't know it was by Aspen Ovard. I don't know if they just like put her name on it because I definitely gotten this before but it wasn't under Aspen's name. And I, from what I remember, I didn't like it. But we're gonna try it anyways. So the reason why it's lower lash is probably because it's just smaller. Yeah, I remember trying this. Do you see how small that brush is? The mascara just doesn't apply onto the lashes very well because I feel like the brush is just too small that you can't even really pick up a lot of product. So I would rather use just a regular mascara or have a brush that's just slightly bigger. And then we have the Pixie by Petra brow gel or clear gel for like your brows or I guess eyelashes if you want to use it for that. I'm actually not picky about my clear brow gel just as long as I can like brush something through my eyebrows just to like even out the color. Um, this, I'm just not picky about it. I know some people are but I don't know. I don't even really know how to review a clear mascara. Like what do you say about it? <laughs> strobe and bronze and strobe and sculpt. Ooh, these both look really dark. So these are the colors. I like the highlights. The highlights are beautiful, but these look way too dark for my skin. That would be way too muddy for me. I'm sorry the lighting keeps going in and out. I really apologize for that. But yeah, these look way too dark. This looks really pretty though. Ooh, they're creamy and soft, super, super soft. So this is the Glow and Bronze palette. This is definitely more my color. Way lighter, you know, contours, and the highlighters are definitely lighter too. If you have tanner skin, I would go with the Strobe and Sculpt. Um, that's definitely more for like a darker skin tone. So I'm using this top color right there. So you definitely have to be careful with these. They're really, really pigmented. Really pigmented. Um, is it weird that sometimes when it comes to contouring, I prefer sometimes powders that are less pigmented? Did you guys hear that? The girls have a Disney like cuckoo clock and it goes off like every hour. But yeah, sometimes I like my contours less pigmented and I know that sounds really, really weird, but I like to build up color rather than just have like this really, really dark pigmented bronzer. Like the first time you apply it, I feel like it's hard to blend sometimes. Um, but 
but this is a really pretty color you just have to use a really really light hand at first otherwise you might have some really intense contour going on and it might not be able to blend very well if you know what I mean so if you use these definitely go with a light hand but if you love pigmented contours then these are definitely for you because they are extremely pigmented see like I barely even touched it and look at that you got to be very careful with these okay so for highlighter these are really pretty highlighters I feel like this one would be too dark for me right here so I'm gonna use this middle pink one let's see if these are a little bit more pigmented than my other pixie one I like my other pixie highlight it's just when you want something more natural and you don't want something like really bright in your face oh that's not bad okay but this is definitely buildable you can build it up to be really really bright and it's way more pigmented than my other highlight by Pixi. Way more pigmented. So I feel like they upped their game a little bit on these. But there. I say, I say thumbs up. I like them. Ooh, okay. This is pretty. I'm going to have like so much highlighter on. This is going to be ridiculous. This is so much more creamy than my other one that I have. So much more creamy. These remind me a lot um, texture-wise as my Ofra ones. I feel like they have a really, really bright glow, which is awesome. I thought they were gonna have a lot less shimmer actually, but they're actually really good. Good job, Pixie. Okay, so if you don't wanna buy the Ofra ones, these actually are very similar in consistency to the Ofra ones. So definitely keep that in mind if you don't wanna buy Ofra online or something like that, and you can see these in like drugstores. I think Target sells Pixie. Um, these are really good, definitely something to look into. Let's go ahead and move on to the Pixie It's Judy Time lip palette, which ugh, I don't love lip palettes because I never use them because they're messy and I hate messy palettes. And that is why I never use lip palettes because I just hate how messy that they get. All these colors are really pretty. They're all matte and they're all super wearable colors. These are like totally my color scheme. So I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with this one. This one's like really pretty right here. This is in, yeah, it's Mia Bear, which Mia Bear is so cute. And another thing I don't like about lip palettes is I hate applying lipstick with my fingers. It's just annoying to me. I mean, I could use a lip brush, but that takes too much time. Pretty color though. Look at how pretty that is. It's kind of like a brick red color. Okay, that took me forever to apply. I'd rather just apply lipstick, honestly, but. And then I'm gonna apply this color right here. This is in Juliana Bear. Let's apply that to the middle. Brighten it up a little bit. Kinda nice to like have everything in a palette so you can like add darker colors where you want them. Okay guys, so I'm gonna share with you guys what is worth it, what's not worth it. I just added some false eyelashes because my camera overheated, so. I had time to do that, but um, I forgot to try out the brush, which sucks. I feel like this brush would have been really, really fun to use for the contouring and for the highlighting, but I forgot. Let's see how soft it is, actually. Oh, soft. So this side is pretty stiff. This would be a good, like, highlighter side, I feel like. And then this side, oh, that is really soft, guys. This is a really, really soft brush. This would be really nice for contour. Ooh. You know those brushes that you just want to like run on your face because it's so soft? Like that is totally this brush. Would I buy this? This I think is definitely worth it. I think the colors are amazing. I think that they are um, extremely wearable. These were not as chalky and powdery I felt like as my other Pixi palette that I have. I like this palette a lot more. I really, really like this. She picked amazing colors. They're super pigmented and really blendable. And I feel like they stayed really, really bright on my eyes. Sometimes I find that eyeshadows tend to fade. So this is definitely a good palette if you were looking for something from the drugstore. The only thing I don't like about this is how cheap the packaging is. I have a feeling this is gonna break fairly quickly, which sucks because it's kind of hard to open. And these plastic lids always break. So that's the only downside, but other than that, I really like this. However, I don't know about this palette. I think the colors that she picked are gorgeous. These are a nice consistency like on your lips, but they're a little bit too hard and too stiff for a lip palette because they're really hard to kind of like 
pick the color up on your finger if that makes sense. I feel like it's a little bit hard. I feel like they just need to be a little bit like more wet or like glossy in a way and I feel like they would apply a lot easier. Like I said, you could use a brush for this, but I'm just not a brush fan when it comes to lip products. This took me way longer to apply than just applying like a lipstick, you know what I mean? Like if I'm gonna be doing my makeup during the day, I would just grab for a liquid lipstick or grab for like a stick lipstick. These are the highlighters by Aspen Ovard. Super creamy, like not creamy, that's like not a good word, like velvety. Um, super velvety highlighters, extremely pigmented, which was amazing and kind of a surprise. I was not expecting that. Um, they are literally like beautiful. They don't have like that powdery quality to them. Um, I really, really like these. This I liked. Um, I feel like it worked really well. They blended out pretty well, but you have to be extremely careful with the contours because they are so pigmented. I know it seems really weird that somebody wouldn't like a pigmented bronzer or a contour. Like that's just a personal preference for me. And I think that's why I liked the Park Avenue Princess by Tarte so much because I feel like that bronzer wasn't very pigmented and that's why I liked it because it gave a really natural look because you could kind of like build up the color and that's why I loved that bronzer and contour so much. Um, I feel like these are so pigmented you have to be really really careful like literally the tiniest little tap and you almost have to like blow on it before you apply it um, otherwise it might be a little bit splotchy um, but if you use a light hand these are really pretty. Um, and I also really like the highlighters in there. Really, really nice, just like these ones, so. So that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, let me know if you guys have tried any of these products, if you like them. Let me know if you plan on buying any of these products after watching this video. Um, I think my makeup turned out really pretty today. I'm really happy with it. So anyways, so that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow me on my other social medias, my Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, and my vlog channel, which is called Our Wonderland Life. And I think that's it, guys. So I will talk to you in my next video. And I hope you have a fabulous day. And yeah, bye.